Hello there guys, this is Proud here and welcome to our 7th episode of our co-op uh, Mortal Empires we Delve campaign. I am Orion and playing as Dorothy we have Wilfried. Hello, hello. And King's Glade is levelled up so ooh, I can get some Wildwood Rangers once I've got that building. But first I'll upgrade the Vineyard. Upgrade the Sculptor's Cavern. Two new buildings for the want. I don't actually know. I don't know, I'm thinking actually maybe getting a growth building. For the meantime, but then again... That's what I've got, i got a lot of growth. But then I don't know. Oh no, I'm getting this. The Temple of Anath Rema. Plus 20% post battle loot. That's good. I'll get it now, and then I'll change the tempo for when I want to get my researching. Yeah. Because you need certain temples to get some of them for the research. Yeah. And I can get the building for Hawk Riders, but I'm not really going to use them that much. Because they cost me an amber. Yeah. So I'll get the muster stone for my cavalry. Upgrade my military, and I may as well upgrade my spell bit. Mm -hmm. And let's go and attack Brion. Let's see what they've got. Literally, that first time is just pure archers. Oh, wait, they do have walls. Do they? Well, it's asking me to siege. Go for it. I don't know. We probably. Do you have any siege attackers? No. Yeah. Um, if I wait two turns, I'll have two rams and my double. Probably only need the rat one run. Well, I get them in two turns anyway, because ah, I've right. got 11 build points, so 10s for my siege tower, and then the yeah. remaining 12. Yeah. Oh, they've got walls because they're towns at stage 3. Alright. Ah, but they've got a lot of archers. Even though they're peasants, it's still a lot of archers. And this hero, I don't want to disband you, so you can just... What can you do? Steal technology. Yeah, let's go and find Bretonia and steal <laughs> their technology. It reduces my research time by 20% for three turns. Well, it'd only affect one thing, so... Still pretty handy. Yeah, it's about one turn, it'll probably end up being maybe two. Uh, well, it does it for three turns, so technically I'll get maybe, in fact, no, 20%. There are no big research times anyway. Yeah. But I may as well do that and level her up until I'm getting my second army. Yeah. Which will no be yeah. for a while, because I'm only at 500. Oh, what are they doing? Yeah, I'm just having a wee nose about the map. Magraliano is under siege now. Yeah. And Magrita is not. But Magrita's just about to get some. Four turns. A rebellion. Yeah. Oh, what do you want? Hold the low. No, I do not want a non aggression pact with you. You got your technology stolen. Oh, well, that's fine. Technically, it doesn't actually hinder me, it just helps them. Yeah, which is fine. Pretty much. I mean, they're a small enough faction, it's not going to make a difference. And they'll be dead soon, so. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
One day, one day we'll get through this. <laughs> yep, it just seems to never end, doesn't it? <laughs> <sighs> the Grey Point Scholars. And finally, oh, Chaos stirs. Oh. Nah. The Brayherd's come. Yes, if you click on it, it might say go to place whereabouts. If there's a magnifying glass. Uh, north. Uh, in between Montfort and Castle Biston. Right, so they're going to hit you first then. Yeah. If they come this way anyway, they might fight when about there first. Oh wait, you know how I said about the research rate, it doesn't affect me, it does. Oh, does it? They've stole 20% of my research. Ah. I just thought, cool. I know technically I should have thought that because it does say stole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, th so I think, I'll... oh wait, I've just got the die pack because my trade money's just went up, so I'm presuming that's because I'm trading more with you. Yeah. Yeah, is your income went up as well? Uh, yeah, I'm at 2,200. Oh, Over some. from from a bit less than that. And I'll leave you. Actually, no, I don't want, want Tree King first. Mind you, a lot of my money spent the fact that I've got three heroes running about. Two in the yeah. army and one is just wandering now because I don't want to disband her because she's got that. Talon of Kurnos. Yeah. Right. Oh. Income from all buildings 10% and melee attack plus 8 for all armies for 4 turns. Eh. The income 10% is only an extra 100. The melee attack would save a lot of casualties. Four turns. I'm hoping to fight this battle and then do the quest battle. I think I'll go with that. What do you think? Don't know. <laughs> I'll go with that because I'm th hoping to do the quest battle. Yeah. Hopefully, I can reach Montfort here to steal technology and we might be able to see the beastmen. Yes. Yeah, there they are. Oh, they're not very scary. There might be two or three of them. But no, they're not. Oh, and the Oak of Ages went up. That's why my money's went up as well, because I've got minus 10% upkeep. Yeah. Untamed plus 3, all regions. And public order plus 2. So next turn, I'll just double check it as next turn. Yeah, next turn we'll siege. Okay. Um, anything else to do in this fine world? Not just yet. No, if I'll check the Empire, see if they want to be be better friends. <laughs> and the dwarfs actually. No, dwarfs don't. No, I'm having trouble with the dwarfs. Oh, Empire Defensive Alliance, I've got it. Hmm. No, but they want me to join ba uh, War Against Marienburg for £900. <laughs> Marienburg is an empire province, which either will let somebody else take them or one of us will take it because it's got the best port in the game. Are you friends with them though? No. So I think. I should... Do you remember it's in the middle of the empire and we are going to Lothurn, so. I'll just go to one. If it's really worth to... it, yeah. I don't need to pursue it, do I? No. no I I'll take it. And then that might. I want them to... No, right, I'll give you a wee bit of money for the military alliance. Because you gave me five amber. No, alright, that's fine. Stuff you then. <laughs> Marienburg strength rank 111 as well. I'm strength rank 13. The Empire strength rank 6. 
It's the only mm-hmm. province yeah. right near us that are the strongest, except for the pirates. That pirate that was in about me, their strength rank 11, I think it said. Yeah. But they will be strong. Yeah, they always get like full powerful armies anyway. Uh, they start with like, level 30 lords, which yeah. is absolutely crazy. And your strength rank 31. Hey, <laughs> I'm starting to upgrade my army now. Good, so you will, you'll go down and up then, because technically you'll be destroy, uh, disbanding some units. Yeah. But then getting the stronger ones. Yeah. That's the plan. Let's see what these beastmen do. Grok, Gorhorn. You might not do much. What does steel technology do to me again? Reduces your technology by 20%. So, like, so if it was going to take 10 tons, it would take 12 tons. Take it that hard. Yeah. What is it that the Oak of Ages does for you? Um, I can't remember offhand, but it gives me... Public order, recruit rank, upkeep, and untainted. Yes. Yeah, I'm getting those buffs. Right, so it's <laughs> costing me amber, and you're getting the bloody buffs. I will I will pay you... See, to I will be honest, pay you a small gift for it. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind in case I ever need money, but they know it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Marienburg destroyed. Oh, okay. So I get nine hundred pounds for going to war with them. <laughs> nice. <good>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which is a shame. Who's taking it? Oh, Nordland taking it. No, sorry, Midland. Oh. I might end up wanting to fight them for that. No. <laughs> they're no friends with Empire. But they're friends with me, I think. Midland, are they? I'm. Fr- I think I'm friends with every- all of them. I, I know a lot of them don't like each other, but I'm pretty sure I'm friends with most of them. Personally, I've no spoke to, oh, wow. spoke to Midland. The Beastman went north. Boris Toddbringer. Uh, I think I'm friends with them. The Beastman have stayed where they are. Oh, no, wait, I'm a wee bit behind no, you. No, they went up to Castle Aye. Baston. Yeah. I was a wee one, one or two factions okay. behind you. Uh, oh, who are you? Oh, great. What does this do? Magical systems, I don't care. Okay, so... Can I recruit Starfires yet? Why not? Why can't I recruit Starfires? That's because you've not got the building to actually make them. Oh, yeah. You've got the... Ah. the you can yeah, build yeah, yeah. normal archers, but you don't have the Glade Guard Hide, it's called. Uh, yeah, the building thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, which has more armor piercing? Way Watchers or Starfires? Well, Way Watchers is 20, 29 missile damage, but I kind of click on to see exactly how much of that is armor piercing weight. Armor piercing damage 20. Yep, and Starfire will be less than that, obviously. They are 16, actually. It's only 4 less. So basically, I'll have Starfires until I can get full Way Watchers. It depends. You might want to keep with Starfires if you're only Why? caring about armor piercing. You get 15 more models. So more overall damage then. Less range, and the good thing is Way <sighs> But Watchers, range, it's really yeah. Way Watchers can shoot in any direction, but technically, with your 15 extra men per volley. Yeah. For 22 volleys, that's an extra 330 arrows that do fire damage. All that hiding and so on is pretty. In fact, never mind, you want the Way Watchers because they've got hawkish precision. If there's no enemy presence within 70 metres, they get plus 15% armour piercing. Which is yeah, an extra so we, yeah. 3. Yeah, so, yeah, that's. 
and as they okay. get more experience, their missile damage goes up and things. Yeah. Um, I'm going to move over to Paragon, I think. Are you not okay. a green tree, Ken? Oh, wait, you've I've got, got I've, yeah. I've got my units. What happened to your wild riders? Did you get rid of them? Yes, I could get ones with shields. Alright, are you recruiting them? If you move closer to Paravon... Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Aye. Uh, do that. And now one, two with shields. Dope. So I need... Yeah. Cool. Pretty, pretty balanced force. Mm-hmm. All I need is the tree lords, the big tree men, and this, the way watchers, and then that's my army done. Yep. Um, oh, I can build a building. Oh, I can upgrade to get my wild riders. I'll upgrade the actual cavalry building. Yeah. Um, and then it's just attack Breon. It's still no showing that I'm easily winning this, by the way. To be honest, I think it's the fact that it's probably just because there's walls. Too many archers. Once I go on the walls, I'll chew them. Yeah, probably. Go yeah, for it. Go for it. If I die, it's your fault. You're to go for it. <laughs> yeah, it will because I've got all archers. The Enchant Fate Enchantress is back. Oh, damn, that will be helping them too. I thought you said you lost your war dancers. I recruited new ones. Ah. Oh, I should have changed the banner. The banners are my wild riders. Damn. Alright. Ah, to most, it's not as if they are very armoured anyway. Yeah. Uh, I can maybe hide a couple of units in the trees at the side, but I don't think so. Mm. Uh, left or right gate, do you think? Middle. There's no gate in the middle. Oh wait, no, there is. I just thought that was a <laughs> um, I'll probably go for the right then because I'm hoping that I can hide a couple of units in the trees to the left. Yeah. To take yeah. the walls and yeah. go around and shoot them, send a couple of archers that way. Yeah. We'll just need to wait and see. It's a beautiful city, so it is. <laughs> yeah, somewhat. Mind you, it's a wee bit dirty, they haven't the cleaned their walls. Well, that's the Bretonians for you. How dare they? Um, right. Two wee seconds to try. I've got two rams, actually. One at each, then. I don't actually know. I don't know if this is too spread out, but one at each, and then the two towers in the middle. In fact, no. I'm going to give you your guys first of all, before I tell you rough within reason what I want to do with them. Yeah. I see my two, my Wee Watchers and my Deepwood Scouts. They have stock, so they are hidden right now. Yeah. Which means they won't put anybody on the left side. So yeah. they're going to infiltrate there. If you send one ram to the gate and have the other ram marching up in case this one gets destroyed. So basically just sort of just in case. Aye. Would you mind moving your archers and stuff out of the way just so I can sort of I'll just organise them a bit? Out the way. Um, who's in the towers? Eternal Guards and Wardens. It's one of the shielded ones. I'm thinking put one the non shielded ones in the in the tower. Let's nah, actually. No, keep the shielded ones in there, keep them safer. Yeah. So where are you gonna attack a tower? Ram. Here and here probably. Yeah. Once you place your guys I'll help you. Well, I'll because I'm going to keep my wizard next to you because I can do shield of thorns for physical resistance. Yeah. In fact, that's physical resistance. That won't work with missiles, will it? Or will that still work because it's their physical resistance to the missiles? Mm -hmm. 
not sure about that one. I'm sure Shield of Force used to be Missile Resistance. They maybe changed it. I couldn't tell you. Well, I'm ready. Right, I'll place my guys. Archers behind you. So shame Ryan doesn't have that much armour. See if he's really armoured. I would have ran him up to take the damage. <laughs> yeah. Right, if we're ready, let's go. They've got too many archers over like, inside the city for me to use the hot riders again. Yeah. Nice. But I can actually even just sit them there and get them to shoot into the backs of the mirror. I'll send them over there anyway, it will soak up some damage or something. That's it, archers put a couple of volleys in at them. Then Orion, you can do a wee spell or two. Just you tell me if anyone want my man. archers to stop firing. This... Okay, one of the, the second ram is going for the left gate. <laughs> Automatically for some reason. Alright, just take them off it, because... Yeah, I think I was just going to... Yeah. Because the arms don't damage at all. Right, my archers are going to stop firing. And they're going to run up the walls and then we'll stay on the walls and shoot. My other archers have taken the sides, they're just climbing up. Oh, you're hogs. Nice. Yeah, they're actually no get shot at at all. 17 kills. Okay, the gates are open. <laughs> How'd that happen? They, they ran out. The archers, the enemy archers ran out through the gate. It's not letting me move to get in, no. It won't let me attack it with the thing either. I must need to wait till it's closed. I'll see if it's... And that's as far as it will let me. That's annoying. Very. Right, these guys are just about up. Okay, the gate's finally closed. Perfect. And I could finally get at the back of that. God, they're trying to come at the thing again. Uh, right, okay, I'm going to send some units up the towers. It's fine, I'm having to heal some of my archers because they're getting hit. My deep wood scouts and wave watchers are popping round to say hello to their cavalry and things at the city centre. Right, mage, you start moving in. Don't have much wins of magic, unfortunately. Yeah. On the walls, they're pretty much routing. Uh, get the archers on the walls here so they can shoot. Good scouts, I think I'm sort of beaten. Right, 
Get Boots Scouts, get out of there, please. I need you to live for you. I've got silver chevrons. Um, it's Haldens running. Right, I'm starting to fire in them now. Hawk Riders have got 134 kills. This is pretty much it, I'm presuming. Yeah, I'm just slaughtering the guys down. Yeah, my wee watchers are absolutely annihilating them, and I've sent my told my glade guard just to shoot the faint chantress. Hot riders don't actually engage in combat, just shoot them. Yeah, low leadership. That's that. I'm going to just triple speed to now, let my archers get a wee shred of experience. Because you get good experience for hitting lords. Yeah. And that's it. Well, I pretty much had that gate on lockdown, even though I couldn't ram it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just wouldn't see. I got a fair few kills with the Eternal Guard. Yeah. They just couldn't get through the gate. Oh, you did well, the wall dancers are amazing in the walls. Yeah. Well, when they get to fight archers. Well, that is true, I suppose it was just... <laughs> the Hawk Riders got a lot of kills. Yeah. What's good about them is they're armour piercing, but the armour piercing is the actual Hawks. Not the arrows. So yeah. they do decent if you fling them into the wall. Yeah. And all of my archers are good experience. In fact, to be honest, my full army's getting decent experience. Yeah, or like three chevrons on the melee troops as well. Mm -hmm, but some of them will be getting changed. Well, the ones with yeah. less chevrons will go first, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Here we go, let's see how much I'll get for raising it. Probably not much, as it's not the capital. I get 3,000 loot, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only 112 losses, that's not bad. A lot of losses on your deep wood scouts. Aye, as I was getting them in my way watchers into position, they are mounted yeoman charged in. Nah, I did shoot them a little bit at the start of the game with my way stalker, if that was any help. <laughs> to be honest, it was the, just the initial charge in made my guys a wee bit panicked and they had three units of archers shooting. Uh, so yeah. even though they were killing themselves, they still did that residual damage. Yeah. But as long as you lived, that was always caring about. <laughs> the Deepwood Scouts, that um, they've got a special arrows as well. They fire two at a time. Yeah, I saw that. But it's a lot less range. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to have Waywatchers, Philly, five Waywatcher units. Nice. The only bad thing is that's about a thousand three hundred in upkeep. Yeah, but by the time I have the army, then I'll have enough money to deal with that. That's true. Raising it, I get 9,000. It will no cost that to do it again. Should I do that for an extra 4,000? Or is it worth it? Go for it, yeah. But aye, it's worth it. Faction destroyed. Yep. Colonised for 3,000, so I get about 5,500 pound there. Nice. Hmm. Um, Orion lives up to nine. Uh, and your know? units are casualty replenishment. It's huge. Uh, because I've got 
I've upgraded his casualty replenishment and yeah. that building that I've got does it as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Upgraded more about my archers with Ryan and more spells. Let's get flesh to stone and that. Oh, good. Next time I can get the dwellers below. That is absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. Sounds um, very scavening. It's the Lord of Life spell. Mm. Oh, I'm going to steal technology from Baston, hopefully. Oh, it's a failure. Um, well, that's been 30 minutes, 31 now. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll end the turn off camera as usual. And we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye from Alfred. See you later. And from me to the Lou the Nerd.